right, you second grade. And today we have a very excited lesson because we are starting our first writing project. A writing project means we are going to take several weeks to just practice one kind of writing. We are going to work through the brainstorming, the drafting, the writing, the editing, and the publishing stage of writing to take several weeks to craft this one piece of writing into the very, very best it can be. We will eventually have a published piece of work that we can share and put up in our room. So we are going to be introduced to our first writing project today. And that is called a personal narrative. Can we say that with me? Personal narrative. One more time. Personal narrative. A personal narrative is going to be a story about you. You are going to write a story from your perspective, something that actually happened to you. A narrative tells a story. So you are going to be telling a story about yourself, something that you have done recently and you can give lots of details on. So for our first writing project, we get to tell our own story. And in a story, it always needs characters, for example, a superhero. It needs a setting, for example, a school. And it needs a beginning, middle, and an end. A start, continuing, and a stop. So a story is going to have all of these characteristics, but this story is going to be one that happened to you, your own personal story that you are going to share with the class. And today, to help us start ourselves on our journey of our first writing project of creating a personal narrative, we have to learn exactly what kind of thing we are going to write about for our personal narrative. So let's take a look at our learning target for today. It says, I can identify a micro moment and brainstorm two possible writing topics. So where every writing project starts, it starts in the brainstorming phase, where we have to think about what are we going to write about? and plan exactly how our piece is going to come about. In a personal narrative, we have to start by picking what are we going to write about? What story in our life are we going to tell? And for our personal narrative, we are going to pick something called a micro moment. A micro moment. We're going to pick two of them to start our process of thinking what we want to write about. But what exactly is a micro moment? A micro moment, micro equals small. So it's a small moment. Micro could be like a microscope that you use to science to look at something really small. So a micro moment is a small moment that happened in your life. It's very specific, usually only taking place over several minutes or several hours. A micro moment is not something that took place over an entire day or multiple days. A micro moment is really small so we can focus our story to be specific and give lots of details. A micro moment could be the first time you were trying to learn how to ride a bike. Not the entire time you were working, but only the first time you got on a bike. It could be the time where you bought one of your favorite toys. Not all of your favorite toys, just one specific toy and your journey to the store to buy it. A micro moment could be about the time where you rode your favorite ride at not very far. Not the entire day, just that one favorite ride that you rode at not very far. A very small micro moment. 
That is what we are going to be doing to write a fabulous personal narrative. And to start us off, we are going to use a picture book, a story, to help us learn about what exactly is a micro moment and how it can turn into a fabulous story. So we are going to be reading the book, Jabari Jumped. This is little Jabari up here, and he is going to tell this entire story about the time he jumped. It's going to be a micro moment, but it turns into this fabulous story through a personal narrative. So we are gonna read this story all together on Epic. While we're reading the story, Jabari Jumped, I want you to think about what is the micro moment in this story? We don't know what the story is about yet, but as you read it, I want you to think about what is the micro moment in this story? Jabari Jumps is about a specific time in Jabari's life. So as you're reading, I want you to think about what's the small event that's being told in this story? Okay, let's head over to Epic and go ahead and read the book. Here we go. Scholars, are you ready to read Jabari Jumps? Remember, we're thinking about the question, what is the micro moment in this story? Okay, here we go. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprung up, 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 and then dove down, down, down. Splash. Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb, up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a little rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes, if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb. Up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge.
Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprung up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went, and then back up, whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari, I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. The end. Okay, let's go back up to the board and talk about it. Okay, awesome, you're back. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. And did you think about the question, what is the micro moment? What was the small story that Jabari was trying to tell with his personal narrative. But before you answer that, I want you to stand up so you can do our this or that for right. So everybody stand up. Okay, my question to you is, do you prefer to sleep with one pillow or do you prefer to sleep with tons of pillows? If you had a choice, what would you prefer? Just one pillow or several pillows all around? What do you think? Take your pick. Hmm. Tons of pillows, you're gonna do air kicks. One pillow, you're gonna do air punches. I only like to sleep with one pillow, so I'm gonna do air punches. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That is it, we got our body moving. So I need everybody to go ahead and sit back down so we can talk about Jabari jump. Okay, so, so we're gonna use this chart to talk about the micro moment in Jabari jumps. So, what was the micro moment? What was the specific event that Jabari was telling? What was he doing? It was the first time, the very first time he jumped off the diving board. That was the micro moment in this story. It was just about his first time jumping off the diving board. Only about that specific period of time. What was this story not about? If Jabari told a story that wasn't a micro moment, what would, what would he have said? The story would have been much longer if he had told what? If he had went beyond the entire day at the pool. If Jabari told from when he got to the pool to when he finally left, that wouldn't be a micro moment anymore. That would be a really, really long story and there'd be tons of stories within it. So when Jabari jumps, he only tells about that first time that he jumped to narrow it down to his small micro moment. He didn't go on talking about the whole entire day because that would take way too long and we would lose all the details we got to learn about him jumping off the board for the first time. So this is what we mean by a micro moment, a small event in your life that you are going to turn into a beautiful, full, personal narrative. So now it's time for you to brainstorm two ideas of what could be micro moments from your own life. 
this might take some time for you to think about. So I'm going to give you some examples of what I might write about that are micro moments. So first up, I have our first morning meeting, our very first day of school, and our very first morning meeting. That could be a micro moment. I'm not going to talk about the entire day from 7.30 to 3.30. I'm only going to talk about the 40 minutes that we were on Zoom together, seeing each other for the very first time in second grade. That's a small micro moment. My other brainstorm idea was taking my driver's test. So I am very nervous about driving. So when I took my driver's test, I had a lot of thoughts during that time. I would just write about the about 20 minutes it took to take my driver's test. I wouldn't talk about the entire process of learning how to drive. I would just talk about my 20 minute test and that would be my second micro moment. These are only small increments of time. Remember, our small moments but we are gonna turn them into beautiful stories with lots of detail. So I want you to brainstorm two of your own micro moments. You can write them on post-its and stick them in your journal or somewhere with your school supplies, but I want you to make sure that you remember the two that you wrote. So don't write it on a whiteboard or anything. Write it on a piece of paper or a post-it if you have them. So what you're going to do is brainstorm two of that micro moments and either take a video of yourself telling me those moments or show me the post-its that you wrote it down on. I want you to save these because you're going to need them when we choose what we're going to write about. So think about Jabari Jumps and the examples I gave. What are two micro moments that you would love to write about. You can make a big list and narrow it down to two, but I only need two. Okay, super scholars, let's go get brainstorming and start on the first step of our first writing project. 